Good evening everyone. In today's video we're going to take a look at a small application which allows you to search for files and applications on your system. Now you may be saying well surely that's uh, part and parcel of most desktops. Um, unfortunately not. It does come as standard obviously built into many menu systems and some have it built into the desktop such as KDE. Others such as the, uh, the simpler ones for example the open boxes we're using here uh, yes, folks, we're back on the Bunsen Labs in the open box. Open source experiment didn't last too long, unfortunately, but that's for another day. Um, yeah, so open box as we're using today uh, doesn't have a built-in search facility. You know, you can install various different options. Um, some will just search for applications, such as we've got D menu in here and packages. Uh, others will search your entire system or categories within your system for uh, for files. So what we can look at today is a new one on me. I've not come across this before, and it's called Synapse. So let's bring up our terminal and, uh, and let's install it. So sudo apt install Synapse. It's a very small application, so this won't take long. And there we are, we're done. So that's now installed. We can, we can quit there. Now let's run it. So for our first run, we need to launch it. And there we are. That is the Synapse application. Um, very, very simple interface. Not much to this at all. Um, you've got your type field where you would just type the, um, the entry that you're looking to search. Um, you can also select categories along the top line there. If you use your left and right arrow keys, you can, uh, you can arrow tab between those um, now down here you'll see started on the bottom right hand in the notifications tray we have an icon if we right click the icon we can quit we can activate which just brings it up on the screen or we can go into preferences and preferences lets you do one of three things in the general box you can set this to start at login which is probably what you'd want to do if you wanted um, a continuous ability to search on your system um, you can show the notification icon down here on the bottom right in your system tray um, and it will also show you the way the key bindings are set for the shortcuts uh, now as standard to launch this you would do control and the spacebar it brings up synapse, uh, synapse not synaptic synapse um, you can also skin the application here so you can have a choice of different uh, different styles default is the one we just saw and that will just bring in your system system colors and your system theme um, to skin the application now the second part of this is plugins and I won't run through these today you can go and have a look at these yourself but any that take your fancy uh, there's a whole range of potential plugins that you can use there within Synapse. So we'll quit that. Now let's launch again. So as I said, Control and Space brings that up. Um, now let's um, search for something I know is on here. So let me say, for example, I want to read the 1957, or one of the 1957 editions of High Fidelity Audio Magazine. Now I know that that's on here. So if I type 1957 and High for High Fidelity. There we are. It's brought it up already. It's the first entry in the box, but if I now arrow down, I can scroll through the various options that it's presenting to me. Now, obviously, it's presenting the 12 issues of that magazine that happened to be released that year, and it's doing them, it's doing them there in number order. So if we just select one of those, just enter, it brings up our PDF reader because these are PDF documents, and we can go through we can read our magazine just so uh, so there we are that was just really a very brief um, very, very brief look at this um, this application there's not really much to tell you about it other than that it allows you to search your system um, uh, do give it a try um, it's very useful for these simpler uh, simpler desktop environments um, not something you want to put on your system if you're running KDE for example because that's got something already built into the desktop environment but certainly on something like Openbox this is a very nice little addition to the system a very nice lightweight addition to the system so I hope you enjoyed that um, please leave your comments below if you have any and I'll see you again in the next video bye for now